Hi, welcome back. Um, I'm here to update a little more because part of my uh, recovery specialist um, plan is to actually do these. Sorry, my septum piercing is a little crooked. Is to do these updates for YouTube. Um, so I'm going to try to do more, I guess, possible when I can. So as of now, I'm coming up on 14 months clean. Um, I have no desire to use um there's a situation with there's a custody incident with me um and my youngest son uh we'll go back a little bit in the history that um pretty much once i had him his dad knew about him but didn't want to do nothing about him until he was like six months old decided that oh we're not going to work out together and i'm going to try and take the kid from you for the rest of your life well as he known, and he is dumb enough not to realize that I call it a pee trail. Pretty much once I, I voluntarily put myself in the rehab because I wanted to. And I did two months of that. And once I got out, I made sure I was into a program right after. So I did IOP. And then with that, I voluntarily did one year and a week. And then um, I ended up on parole. And when I got on parole, I did a urine for them too. So there was two a week. And, um... That was up until December of last year, 2018. Um, and then from January up until, I guess, March, maybe? I was only doing one urine, and because of the situation, I voluntarily started doing two with the agreement of my uh, parole officer. So, um, so with that being said, that I call it a P-trail because everything is documented. Like, someone, if I sign a release form... For someone to get my medical information, they would see all that. Um, so with them knowing that I've been in the rehab for two months, obviously they're not, not going to be using. Even though it is possible for people to use, they do test every once in a while. And plus I was pregnant prior to that. So there's, you know, those tests, blood tests, urine tests, saying I'm clean. So we went back on court on the 6th of May. And um, pretty much like, hey. We, you know, it is what it is. She's been clean, no problem. And I'm continuing to still do two urines, you know. And so they're going to be like, okay, let's see if um, if there's a dirty urine come back or whatever. Uh, I call him LaDouche, my donor, my son's donor. Um, he, he pretty much wants me to end up messing up. He's trying everything in his way to get power over the kid and have not, I mean, do nothing with my kid. Well, with that being said, that's not going to fuck. And it's never going to happen. Um, I, you know, I'm still going to school with the certified recovery specialist. I'm having an issue with that because I needed my transcripts, my diploma from high school. <sighs> That's a whole nother story that I'll get into when I get into it. Uh, they lost my whole 12th grade transcript and that's from like 13, wait, was it 2007? Yeah, but almost 13 years ago. So... Someone misplaced my whole thing. Um, my uh, sending school that I was going to, I talked to someone that was still going there that was doing the billing, said, yeah, I distinctly remember you being here, blah, blah, blah. And then my receiving school was like, no, we have not one thing on you that you went to 12th grade. So I'm dealing with that crap right now. And I need that to finish my uh, schooling. So that's another downfall. Um, another good thing is that, um, someone just got me a car. I'm still waiting to fix my, uh, license. I'm already halfway there, so I'm working on it slowly but surely. I tend to over get overwhelmed, a little stressed about things. I over worry. Um, but I find different outlets instead of using now. Like, I got workbooks, um, music, I'll study, you know, just little dumb stuff that I would never have done before, like, two years ago. So, um... That's all helping, and after we went to court on the 6th, um, I just got a call today from my lawyer saying that his lawyer is freaking holding everything up because they came up with this agreement, apparently, that if the kid's not going to be in my possession for more than four hours, like, I have to go do something, whatever, um, I have to pretty much give the son, my son back to his donor, and it's supposed to go 50-50, but douche doesn't really want to agree with that, his lawyer, whatever, so that's holding it up. If... He's holding it up, then what's going to happen is Monday we go to court, uh, custody court, and this actually could probably speed things up because if once he signs off to it, there's about like 45 days that we have to wait um, till, you know, our next hearing about the whole 50-50.
So right now, it's a it's a hit or miss, you know. Either I'm going Monday or I'm going to have to wait for, you know, a month and a half, give or, you know, give or take, whatever the case may be. But either or, I'm still doing what I'm supposed to. I'm still doing my two drug tests a week. I'm seeing my kid way more. Um, actually, I'm going to be getting him later. I'm taking him to the fair. I'll do little clips and or some photos and I'll bind them together and put it on YouTube um, whenever I have time. So, that's pretty much what's going on now with the whole situation, um, as much as I can tell you guys, and I'm able to give you information about. Um, there's way more, but I don't want to give the, you know, pleasure of letting Douche know a little bit more about what's going on. Pretty much, you know, that's just, just how it's going to be. Um, I'll probably update you with some more information about what's going on as far as what happened today, eventually. But not today. I'm just going to let it, you know, soak in a little bit, you know, that, you know, I was right about a lot of things. So, until then, you know, I'm just going to be me. I'm, you know, happy. Get a little stressed. But I, overall, my mood's been really good. I'm, you know, about 14, like I said, going up on 14 months clean. Um, I'm happy with the way I am. I do way, way more than I did when I was in active addiction, addiction. And I'm proud of it because, you know. I'm healthy, and I'm okay with that, you know, so, that took me a little while to love myself, and I can finally say I do love myself, but when I was with Douche, you know, I, it was kind of toxic, you know, fucking, that, that was a hell of a mess, um, sometimes I, you know, I do have, you know, self-esteem issues from time to time, but when I'm in a good mood, I love myself more than ever, you know, there's still some little behind the scene issues that I have going on with some other people that it's not really a big deal to sit here and vent about for many reasons. Um, it's not something that I haven't dealt with prior before in my life that I can't handle now. So that's it. So I just want to give you an update about what's going on as I'm supposed to and a little bit more about what's going on with my recovery.